And so then came Biden. And the Biden administration was supposed to come into office and, you know, relieve the sanctions, right, that were actually also affecting Iraq. People don't know this, but the sanctions on Iran made it impossible for their neighbor Iraq to actually buy fuel from Iran. So Iraq had electricity cuts because of U.S. sanctions making it impossible to buy fuel from Iran, from their neighbor. So Iraqis have a lot of reasons to be pissed off at the U.S. There's still residual forces of the U.S. there that they want out. Um, and this issue with the sanctions. And so after a month of Biden being in office and literally doing nothing to relieve sanctions and nothing moving on like reducing the maximum pressure campaign, these Iraqi militias that are allied with Iran, allied, not backed and not, not like controlled, but allied with Iran, were sending a message to the US. There was like three instances where they lobbed rockets at you know a US base in Erbil, uh, you know, NATO forces in another area and actually the US embassy. And so Biden responded to this by bombing popular mobilization forces stationed in Syria to send a message to the Iraqi militias and to Iran. So it sounds crazy. I hope you can follow me here. No, yeah. So and by the, yeah, by the way, well, I, I wanted to say, make, yeah, yeah, keep going. I was, I was just telling everyone to make sure they share this link because this is really important information. So if you're watching, yeah. seriously, tweet this out because people are saying this is invaluable background and it's true. Well, it is. It is invaluable background and you don't get it anywhere right. because no one really understands what's happening. Or if you're reading in the mainstream press, they always just present it as like Shia, evil Shia militias, evil Iranian militias. Like people think the U.S. bombed Iran in Syria. Right. The reason the U.S. bombs them in Syria is because they can't bomb them in Iraq because that's like a sovereign country that the U.S. is allied with and it brings up a bunch of legal issues. And for some reason, the world has decided that it's OK to treat Syria as like a playground that like five different countries can bomb at once and it doesn't matter. So that's why they bomb them in Syria. But the thing is the, the Iraqi units that they did bomb have nothing to do with the Iraqi militias that have been lobbing rockets at the US. Like, so they just like bombed people who had nothing to do with it um, in Syria. And then like I said, killed this like father of two small children. And they, this force that they bombed in Syria, this base that they bombed was Iraqi paramilitaries that were stationed there to fight ISIS. So they're just bombing ISIS's right. enemies in Syria, which makes no sense. And like I, the reason I, I want to make this quick comparison, because I know it gets like confusing because yeah. I'm mentioning all these different countries. But essentially what Biden did is he bombed Iraqis in Syria to send a message to Iran. It would be like if Iran were to bomb like Canadians in Mexico to send a message to America. Right. Like That's how absurd it is what the U.S. is doing. And that said, like, it's not like there's going to be an all out war because of this. There's always space for escalation whenever there's a bombing. But it is really concerning that it's been like two months of Biden and he ran on the idea of returning to the Iran nuclear deal. And so far, he's completely dragged his feet and hasn't done anything. And everyone in the region is getting pissed off because people's lives are miserable because of these sanctions. And this is just for Iran. I mean, there's also sanctions on Syria that ha are like crippling that country and actually starving people right now and preventing the Syrian government from buying oil from an area of Syria where the U.S. is occupying, where they're literally just occupying an area of Syria, Northeast Syria, where all the oil is. And then the Syrian government's like currency has collapsed because of U.S. sanctions. So they're not even able to buy their own oil, which they shouldn't have to buy in the first place. They only have to buy it because the U.S. is occupying that area. So there's just like the U.S. is causing so many problems here. Lebanon as well, like is affected by this. Lebanon is uh, dealing with U.S. sanctions as well um, because of Hezbollah. The U.S. like sees the entire region as some war against Iran. And every single actor is just a proxy of Iran rather than a group that has maybe is allied with Iran, which is the case like Hezbollah, the PMF, the Syrians. They're allied with Iran because they have similar interests but they also have their own domestic interests in their own countries. They're not all just Iranian proxies. But the U.S. is making the region so miserable economically. Like, I can't even describe it to you. And it's in the middle of a pandemic. Like, the Syrian health ministry right now is sanctioned. Like, the guy who killed Jamal Khashoggi with a bone saw in Turkey, mm. nothing's going to happen to him. But the Syrian health minister is sanctioned in the middle of a pandemic because all of Syria is evil and we just need to destroy it. Like that's the mentality of the U.S. government under Republicans and Democrats. Right.